Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl Amber and in this video we are just going to do a quick you know, just a quick and casual get ready with me. I know I'm not in my usual setup, but I'm currently at my mom's house. We're spending the weekend at my mom's house. And I was like, you know, let me take my vlog camera with me just in case I want to talk or do a video or vlog a little bit or something like that. So yeah, here we are, sis. <laughs> and as you can see by the title, today we are going to get real. But while doing that, I'm going to get ready because we are about to go downtown and I want to just look a little bit better than I am looking now <laughs> because girl ugh, since I became a mom wearing makeup is just not on my to-do list I don't have the time and energy to do my face all the time you know I do have a solid skincare routine that I want to share with you guys soon but you know putting makeup on and doing all of that it's just not my priority right now and I want it to be my priority because you know I like to feel like glam just a little bit but it's difficult it's difficult <laughs> but I try like right now we're going to do a little activity so I want to look you know a little presentable you know I just want to look a little bit put together <laughs> so I'm spending four days at my mom's house with the baby so I thought it would be nice to come here and spend a little family time or whatever and I packed a shit ton of stuff for the baby I literally took half of her closet with me <laughs> I took a little travel crib with me I took her activity center with me I took like seven bibs with me I also prepared some meals for her during the week so I also brought that I brought her baby cereal oh my gosh I brought a ton of stuff like I have four bags with her stuff and only one little bag with my stuff and I even forgot my pajamas, okay? <laughs> I forgot half of my stuff. That's mom life for you. You forget your own stuff all the time, but you are prepared, you know, when it comes to the baby. You know why I wanted to do this video is actually because past week was just... Uh, bad you know it was rough i suffered so much past week because i was basically alone with the baby for a week jeffrey he had to go to work he had a really really hectic week okay and he was home in the early morning and in the late nights okay so during the day i was alone all the time i don't mind being alone during the day with the baby but you know seven days in a row being alone with the baby is pretty exhausting okay i was so tired in the meantime i also had to work and stuff i, ho I also have my own stuff to do while taking care of the baby oh my gosh that's just you know, exhaustion on a whole different level, I'm telling you. I was so tired and I got so bad migraine attacks ugh, because I was so stressed out and tired and stuff. Oh my gosh, it was so bad. Um, yeah, every night I went to bed with headaches, couldn't even sleep because of my migraine attacks. My migraine was so bad. So the whole time I was just going on autopilot and it was rough, um, barely had time for myself, barely took care of myself, didn't eat well at all. And, you know, I'm breastfeeding and, you know, breastfeeding is basically your baby sucking the life out of you. <laughs> So you need to fuel yourself a little bit with good food. You need to drink a lot of water You need to eat healthy so you can get all the right nutrients in your body and vitamins in your body So you stay energetic and girl it was like I was in shambles my whole household was in shambles I couldn't go on and on how bad I was past week, but I'm not going to do that because We're past that. Okay, today is a new day. It's a new week. So I'm feeling much better. Ooh, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see better what I'm doing with my face. My migraine attacks were just so bad to the point that I had to make an appointment at the doctor's um, office because the medication that I took didn't work anymore. And she was like, you know, you need to de-stress a little bit um, <laughs> because that's important for you. You know, you don't want to mess with high blood pressure and stuff because of preeclampsia I had earlier during my pregnancy, high blood pressure. That's not a good thing. So she said, you know, just take it easy. And she prescribed me some new medication and it works so freaking well. 
my migraines are gone. I just took one little pill, didn't have to take any more because my migraines were gone in 30 minutes and I was just like free <laughs> at last. <laughs> Free. Oh my gosh. And I was just like thinking like, damn, how do single mommies do this? Not that I'm single, but you know, I was just alone the whole time during the day. I cannot imagine how they do it like that every day. If you're a single mom, you definitely earned my respect for sure. You are so freaking strong. Raising your baby all alone with minimal help. Girl, I salute you. I'm serious. That's a whole different level of dedication. Yeah, you know, if you're a mom, you just do it. You know, you don't have a choice. It's your kid. You have to take care of your baby. So you don't have a choice. You just do it. You're an autopilot. You're just focused on the baby and that's it. You know, everything that is not related to the baby, you don't even look after it. Like even yourself, you tend to forget yourself a lot of the times. You neglect yourself a lot of the times, but you know, as a mom, it's very important to take care of yourself as well. You know, even if you don't have anyone around you to take care of you, you have to take care of you. And you know, and that's the thing that I realized. I don't have to sit around and wait until somebody takes me to the doctor, makes me dinner or anything like that. You, you have to do that. It's your responsibility that you are okay. That's definitely a tip that I wanna give you guys. If you're a new mom or if you're pregnant, oh my gosh, make sure that you are okay. Make sure you take care of yourself. Don't wait around to let someone take care of you, even though that's nice, okay? Even though that's nice to, you know, have your husband around and massage your feet and do this for you and do that for you, but sometimes you don't have a choice to do it for yourself, okay? Like me, I was alone the whole week and I didn't have a choice. I couldn't tell Jeffrey to go to the store for me and buy this for me or just that. You know, I had to do everything by myself that's just how it's gotta be sometimes you know just by yourself do it for you don't count on anyone to take care of you but you i'm telling you <laughs> uh, i don't know if this made sense but i hope it did my mom lives in a whole different city it's a one hour and a half drive um so it's a whole different environment and that's what i really needed right now Okay, just to relax and take my mind off things and oh, it feels good, you know, to be out here. Not that I don't like my home and stuff, like I'm happy in my home, I like my home, I'm good, you know, but it's just nice to be around family. So past week I was down and I was sad and I was sick. So at the end of that week, I also realized like, girl, like, do something about this. This is not how it's supposed to be. Okay, this is how it is every once in a while, but don't let it come too far to the point where you're like done with everything. Like, don't let it come to that point. Do something about it. Do something for yourself. Do something nice, you know, wear something nice, do your makeup, whatever. Do, just do something that feels good because it's not because you're a mom that your life has to be over all the time, you know? It's not because you're a mom that you cannot do anything fun anymore, that you cannot be happy anymore or whatever. Your life is just starting, I'm telling you. There are so many things that we're going to experience in our lives right now with our baby. Don't think because you have a bad day that you have a bad season, right? And a happy and healthy mom is a happy and healthy baby. <laughs> That's real talk. Because now I realize, now that I'm like back to myself again, now that I feel myself again, now that I feel healthy again, like, it's not what it's used to be, but I feel better right now. My baby is like oh, laughing a lot and this and that. Like she's so happy right now and she's just doing her thing. And I was like, okay, so my energy really comes off to the baby. So I just need to make sure my energy is right all the time. And how do I need to do that? By taking care of myself, okay? That means just, you know, taking some me time, taking some time off. Just let someone else take care of the baby for a second and just do your thing, sis. <laughs> so what I also did was shop online, girl. I was shopping online because I had a little bit of money saved and I was like, girl, let me treat myself. I'm not going to, you know, save this money all the time for 
the baby or this and that or okay saving is important you know you always need to spend your money accordingly but i just had this little extra something something laying around so i was like let me treat myself you know i deserve this <laughs> i suffered so much i just deserve a little shopping spree right now and if no one is going to give it to me then i'm just going to give it to myself okay i'm not going to wait on anybody i'm just saying but don't worry i get taking care of friends family and jeffrey but i don't want to depend on them you know what i'm saying i want to depend on myself i don't want to, to depend on anyone to make me happy again and stuff so um yes yeah, sis like i'm just doing me so yeah my journey is just starting my journey is just starting i want to show you how i experience motherhood because to be honest when i look on youtube and i search for mom vlogs or whatever or mom routines or morning routine evening routines or whatever i always have this weird vibe because sometimes it feels too staged sometimes these vlogs or routines these videos feel too fake you know you you just sitting there and everything is just perfect their house is perfect everything is cleaned up they have on a full face of makeup in the morning they work out at 6 a.m they have a full breakfast with all the things they need um at 7 a.m they have some me time at 8 a.m and then the baby wakes up and like girl that's not how it is at my house <laughs> not at all so sometimes when i'm watching these things i'm like okay but maybe i need to train my baby a little bit more because she's not like that or maybe i need to do this or this or this different maybe i need to get up earlier but i can't because i'm tired I don't know i just keep on comparing myself like maybe i need to do this or this but no no sis stop stop <laughs> that's not how how you do it that's not realistic okay first of all your baby is unique your baby is your baby you don't have to compare your baby to someone else's baby okay that's the number one thing you need to know as a parent also i am a youtuber as well and i know how videos are made okay it's not like flawless like you see it on like you're watching now like there are a lot of breaks there are a lot of cuts pauses like you know you need to adjust the camera the lights this and that so it's not perfect all the time it's impossible um so i know i have to take these videos with a grain of salt it's not because they show it like that that it's always like that okay people just show what they want you to see don't always believe what you see here on youtube i'm just saying so yeah that's what i want to show you guys this just the real side of motherhood how my experience is i'm not gonna like i said in my one of my previous videos i'm not gonna show my baby like here's my baby this and that because i don't like family vlogging I, I like to watch it every once in a while, but I don't like to do it myself. But I want to show you guys how I experience things. I want to show you guys my sleepless nights, <laughs> for example. I want to show you guys how messy my house is and how I'm trying to juggle work at home with the baby and all that kind of stuff. Like, I want to show you guys all of that because that's just real life that's just my life and personally i think a lot of you guys will appreciate that um because i appreciate people that show me real real stuff like that okay so my face is done <laughs> <laughs> this was the quickest makeup routine that i've ever did okay i just used like five products and that's it but mm, but you know i can work with this mm, i can work with this it's okay it's okay so yeah that's just a little bit how i'm feeling right now now that i feel better again i'm ready to take over again ready to take control again of my life i'm not going to let bad days define everything i want me to be happy i want my baby to be happy i'm just ready to boss up there's also something that i saw online i was watching a video from a youtuber that i love to watch and she was doing a makeup routine and i was watching her makeup routine and she was doing a chit chat video also as well um and she was talking about how she's going to reach her goals this and that but she don't have any kids you know and all of a sudden she was talking about yeah you know i'm 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 reaching my goals right now i'm being the woman that i always wanted to be and i was like yes sis, yes but then she was like oh my gosh i'm happy i don't have kids because if you have a kid you cannot do all of that you cannot reach your goals this and that and suddenly i was like 
Wait a minute, what? Did you really just say because you have a kid, you cannot reach your goals? Okay, I know where she's coming from. It will take you a little longer until you reach your goals, but you will reach your goals regardless, okay? So don't believe anyone that says like, oh, because you're a mom now, you cannot do anything fun, you cannot reach your goals again, you cannot focus on your career. Girl, I'm gonna prove to you, you can do all of that while having a baby. <laughs> I'm gonna prove that to you sis right now, okay? She was like, yeah, I choose me like that's the number one reason I don't don't want to have a baby because I choose me I know like I Understand her point of view, but it's not because I have a baby that I don't choose myself Okay, I will always choose myself sis mm -hmm. While having a baby while having my life next to me. Okay while having my precious little daughter Next to me you're gonna see sis. I'm gonna reach my goals regardless Just saying just saying watch me <laughs> So yeah, I don't know how this little chit chat video was this was just a quick random video that I just wanted to Upload nothing really too special, but I hope you liked this video kind of uh, and you know you can expect more videos like this because now I'm going to you know pop up my camera more and more and just talk to you guys tune in how I'm feeling how you guys are feeling let me know down below how you are feeling how are you feeling sis how is life so thank you so so much for watching this video I really appreciate it sis and I will see you in my next video bye